hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel yeah it's really good to be back here you know this is just like a random vlog so i was going to be talking about some realities about me so where should we start from okay let's start let us start from why i come to youtube like why i really started youtube you know um was i even sure of why i started this youtube thing because I started because I started just for fun, like I was just like I was on Instagram, on Facebook. So I do see I don't have that and um, YouTube app on my phone. So one day I don't even have an idea of what it's for. So I just feel like let me just go here, like let me just click on that YouTube thing. So it's request for that, and then I I subscribe, then I just log in there, I create an account, and at that time I was just like um watching videos like i saw a lot of videos i find it so so interesting like wow so there are a lot of videos here you know something like that i was so happy so i was just recording myself you know blah blah blah, blah, blah something like that uh all those recording that i was doing for myself was like i always feel like this is not like, as professional as, as it should be like i just like ah, this video i was watching on youtube were not like this so i should just try to be more like you know so after some time, I just, like, I saw some people posting celebrities. So I just was like, ah, let me just start posting people now, since this is the way. So unfortunately, I wasn't expecting it, but, like, um, my channel really grew so, so fast. Because of that, it grew so fast. So I got to be, then that is where I got to be also learning that you can be a content creator you can be creating videos of your own self like different things about you maybe you want people to know or not or you know talking about things so that's how i got to know that you can do different things on youtube and after some years like i was hey if you check my about info it's like starting at 18 that i created this youtube it's not like i started creating content then i think when i really started creating content like that was like starting at 19 or Turn a nineteen stroke twenty twenty. Hmm. Yep. That's when I really started YouTube team. Just posting like short videos on social media. So after then, when I started doing my own personal things, myself was like, like year twenty twenty. Hmm. 2020, 2021. I don't even. I'm not sure, but it's like 2020, 2021. I think I will have to go and check my last video, like my first video here. So that was when I started, like, let me just start creating some things. And um, I know you all be wondering, like, why did why is it like this gay doesn't usually? Let's just cut that one, you know. <laughs> Maybe we are going to discuss about that topic later. If you really want to hear, like, if you really want to know everything about how I started YouTube and everything about it, this YouTube thing about me. So just comment that below so I can continue with the conversation. So why I don't usually show my families on YouTube? You know, the thing is, I'm a Yoruba girl. Yes, I'm a Yoruba girl, you know. So most of my families, like, people around me hear that I should, they should have been, like, I should have been vlogging or recording them that we should be doing video together. Well, like, they doesn't, they don't hear Yoruba, they don't understand, I mean, they don't understand English very well, so you know sometimes it's like some people don't even know the benefits or the use of this youtube thing or you be videoing yourself so sometimes some people will just see me see my videos like maybe i just post something it's, it can be maybe a tiktok video like so they'll be like hey see see this one you're just doing nonsense you just i saw your video you're just recording you're just uh, you're not serious are you collecting money are you this are you that you know so many people like that you can even discourage if you're not strong enough like <laughs> No, if you don't have that coconut head, like, no, this is what I really want to do. No one can tell me what it is, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> something like that. So, people like that, like, they don't really understand this thing very well. That's why I usually record, uh, record myself only. So, I have my nieces, so I, I introduce my niece to you guys. That's because they can speak English very well. So, I think we'll still be doing more. I can do the sister tag with Gracious. That was my the first one. Like the first one. I don't know when that may be. 
because currently I wasn't with him, so they wasn't with me as well. So I don't know if it's going to be this year or next year. I'm not sure. <laughs> but you see, it's whenever I post there, something like that. So the problem is I have so many people around me that can I can actually film with, but they don't understand English very well. They can't speak English. So it just feel like sometimes... Um, I just, I want to record them sometime, but I, I still feel like <laughs> this thing will be so stressful because I will still have to be, uh, writing the meaning of what we're seeing in English here. So even the prank idea I wanted to be doing on this channel already, I already, I, I already wanted to try it, but it's something like Yoruba speaking, you know, I will just have to be writing everything they said so you guys can understand. I will, I will have to be writing it in front, you know. So I see, I see that as stress, like stress, you know. So that's why I just like, let me just leave it like that. And about these three guys, guys, we're talking about three topics today. So the three guys I talk about, like when I was working the police station, guys, it really started getting tough for me working at that police station because it's like. They, they were like started being mean to me you know they are all my boss the three of them were my boss so i said they were helping me sometimes before so they really started not helping like you know it's not like all of them we used to sell market every day so there are three selling petrol so two people will be selling and one people will be like staying. they cannot go home you can't go home they'll be like hey they may want to send you work or you may want to be helping your colleagues so you can't go home and they they would be like they don't want to help or do anything even when i'm eating when i was eating like they want to buy my kids so that person that was first supposed to help me and say but they'll be like they just some people some of them would just walk inside like you know something like you don't want to help and you'll be going inside without doing anything inside just stay there like just being like i don't know just being wicked or something i don't understand so they started being like that started being like that and i was like it still felt so 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 stressful when that started happening so that was really a whole things that really made that things or that work remove from my mind and i feel like oh i mean let me just move on i don't i don't think i can do this anymore so that was the reason behind this i think i have told you everything you need to say you need to know then about that and school i was talking about that was city hall the polytechnic school i was talking about today um, i literally i later find out that <laughs> what we are there so when it's time for them after that first semester they still want to collect people. like they're collecting newcomer every first first semester you haven't even done the second semester that's why that's just some of the hints that will make you to be realizing that this thing wasn't right at all so they now told us that anyone that bring a place, if you bring one person to that school, you collect five thousand. So I get to know that my friend actually used me to do a business. Like he call, she collected five thousand around my head because she brought me to that school. What kind of school? Bribing you to bring people to that school. So what you you see, it's not like it's just like most of us, we don't have sense. Yeah. You are there already since they are the first day, and you see all those things. You shouldn't be making other people to be making mistakes. You already make mistakes, and you know, most of them are like, eh, we know, but there's nothing we can do. Eh, we just have to, you, you know, something like that. You just give my own certificate. You did give a certificate, and it's not a, a certificate you can even use for anything. Is that one certificate? So you knew, and you don't take any step. You're just staying there, you know, wasting your time and wasting your parents' money. I would like to advise you to just <laughs> know what you are doing, you know, know what you are doing and plan ahead. Why will you still be staying where you know that this isn't like you know everything about it already? They told you they are going to be giving you money to bring someone, so you are actually using. <laughs> ah, oh my goodness! This same girl come to me one day when I was working in that police station. Like she just came like, let really me borrow me money. She didn't give me that money to today. She will give me tomorrow. I don't know. I, I'm sure she can never give me the money. And she keeps lying even when I met that day, you know. So, if she had told me that, okay, we you to collect money when you bring someone to that school, I will never, like, 
bribing you something. I would know that ah, something was actually like something is wrong. Something was wrong. But anyway, I move. And here I am today. Here we are today. So I'm currently now. I was in. I was a student in EXO. I'm a student in EXO. Even though we are uh, <laughs> on strike, God, may God help us. Help us to talk to the jobbers, the government. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna see you on my next video. Okay, it's like my picture wanted to pop up. Let me show you a little bit of my picture. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you on my nails, baby. Bye-bye.